my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's, What's the procedure, calm? everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, you calm down! Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Crisis on Infinite Earths. This is going to be my trailer breakdown for the new trailer. I am ridiculously hyped about this. I haven't been this hyped in such a long time. This trailer freaking kills it. I got shivers. I'm so ready for the crossover. This is really getting me hyped. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be breaking down the trailer shot by shot, talking about everything, sort of going a bit crazy over this because it's a great trailer. Okay, so the first shot of the trailer is one we keep on seeing recently, and that is in fact the shot of Star Labs exploding. I don't know if this is on some other Earth. Obviously, it doesn't seem like it's probably going to be on Earth 1 because Earth 1's probably going to survive, you know, when you look at the grand scheme of things. But anyway, yeah, it does look like the antimatter wave is actually engulfing, you know, this version of Central City, wherever it is. And then we have this shot, this kind of heartbreaking shot of Kara, Alex and Jean and they have got tears in their eyes, especially Melissa, but also Kyla as well, like this looks incredible. And so Kara says, they're gone, sort of like questioning like what is happening? Why is this happening? Why are all these earths being destroyed? Why do these people have to die essentially? And so then we cut to the next shot and Barry goes, every second another earth dies. And so you see Earth 73 being destroyed. I guess we'll get some glimpses of these different Earths and you know, maybe that's like where the first shot of the trailer starts. Maybe that's Earth 73 Star Labs that gets wiped out. You know, the whole Earth dies. And so then we have John Wesley Ship's version of the Flash, the 90s Flash with normal Barry Allen and they're talking together. And this is super exciting just seeing them both back on screen together number one but also he says the thing about you know every second goes by an earth dies okay so we move on to the next shot this is kind of peculiar but you have this lightning going off in the background i'm guessing it could be the anti-monitor like showing up you know there has been some sort of massive fight in here there's rubble all over the place so we have our heroes there we've got the flash batwoman green arrow mia we got supergirl Clark Kent, obviously Superman, Tyler Hoechlin's version, and we've got the Atom, and then we got this lightning going off. So I'm not particularly sure, but my first initial thought was, oh, the Anti-Monitor may have just, like, skadooshed off from there, like, left. And so then we move on to a shot of Batman suit, and I gotta say, this Batman suit's really cool. Like, I really wish someone would actually wear the suit. Obviously, we've seen, like, flashbacks in Batwoman and stuff, but I don't know. I feel like it would be sick to see... Kevin Conroy in the crossover actually suit up as Batman. We know he's going to be Bruce Wayne in the crossover, but imagine if he was Batman. This suit looks like a sort of mix between the Dark Knight and Batman vs Superman. So I, I really dig this design, I think it's really sick. Then we move on and Ruby Rose, obviously playing Batwoman, says ready to save the Earth or something like that, I'm paraphrasing. But anyway, so this is with Kara picking her up. They've got the sort of portal device. They're going to go to Earth 1 or wherever they're going. Or maybe they're meeting at Earth 38. Somewhere. It seems like Earth 38's the one actually in trouble compared to Earth 1. Because we have this line later in the trailer where Supergirl says we might lose the planet. But we can still save the people. And I think that's in reference to her planet. Okay, so we've got a shot of Superman and Supergirl both landing on the ground. Really, really cool shot. There's some just really nice moments in this trailer as well. So they're landing in this same place where we just talked about a, a second ago with that lightning. And it looks like same place again. We've got the Atom, Batwoman, Green Arrow, and Mia Smoke all teaming up together. Then we've got a shot of White Canary as just, you know, it's just a shot of her. Nothing that we can really break down about that scene. But we've got Harbinger, who is obviously either our version of Lila who the Monitor has granted powers, or the Monitor, you know, moves around to these different nerves to collect all our heroes, or it's a different version of Lila. But I'm sort of rooting towards our version of Lila, considering that post credit scene, I think it was episode 2 of Arrow this season. So, yeah, 
basically what's going on in the background here everything's red so it seems like the red skies have taken over and it seems like the red skies come first and then you get the antimatter wave taking over so this is in the DEO so is this Earth 38's doom is Earth 38 gonna get destroyed or is it going to be merged into Earth 1 like a lot of the Earths are in the comics if you've read Crisis and I highly recommend you read Crisis before you go into Crisis obviously it's gonna be different it seems like Harbinger is playing a slightly different role. It seems like Pariah is playing a slightly different role. We don't know how much we're going to see of like the Anti-Monitor. Are we going to get, you know, all the stuff with, you know, Alexander Luther? I don't think so. I think Lex is sort of going to play that role instead. So we've got all of that that is going to be slightly changed. And so we've got our first like in motion look at Tom Welling's version of Clark Kent. I'm not sure if this is actually like Smallville Clark Kent, but that would be really sick if it was. Okay, so then we move on and we go to this one. We've got our first, like, proper sick look at Pariah. And man, does Tom look so freaking cool in the suit. This gets me really hyped. This is probably one of the biggest things in the trailer where it's like, I am so freaking excited. I need to see what's going on here. I need to see what's going on everywhere. And so it does look like he's on a farm so it could be Clark's farm and it seems like the color grading is a bit different and they do that to you know signify you know different earths that it did that back in season 2 of the flash with earth 2 they've done that with earth 3 and various other earths to you know differentiate them so it seems like this is probably on another earth so maybe this is in fact like Tom Welling's Clark Kent farm you know Kent farm actually not Clark Kent farm but then we move on to this secret base We've got the Cosmic Treadmill. I don't know if this is like the Monitor's base or this is like Earth-90 Flash base. Like maybe it's his, it seems like, because there's the Treadmill. And we know at a certain point he's going to like evaporate. Because we saw that in the last trailer on the Treadmill and the Treadmill's right here. So we've got Killer Frost and Black Lightning with him in this shot. Then we move on, we got Black Lightning shooting his lightning down a corridor. And we have Barry getting flung around from this explosion. Looks like this could potentially be in Star Labs, but I really don't know. It's just really bright. Then we've got the repeated shot of Iris, you know, dying in crisis, as Barry saw in his visions a few episodes ago. So that's obviously very impactful. That's going to be a big thing factoring into, you know, the crossover because they're going to be thinking about how they can save everyone and, like, who they can save and who is actually gonna die you know in the end so then we got the monitor as he returns it looks like he's in his same like dimension space wherever he chills you know in his portal because you got like the speckles in the background of light like sort of stars and so the line he says is this threat brings the annihilation of all life so obviously referring to the anti-monitor and I don't know how early or how late we're going to see the Anti-Monitor, but this is all obviously leading up to him. And, you know, we've seen him in one of the trailers, but he was really freaking small, like, in the distance. So it was really hard to tell. But anyway, we have Clark and Lois's baby. Obviously, this is going to be to set up stakes, but also it's going to be, like, a quite nice, intimate moment. You get to see Clark sort of playing with his kid. John Kent in the comics, I don't know if he's going to be named the same thing, but we're back at Argo City, because they're on Argo City here, you can tell by the design and everything, this is exactly like sort of where Kara and mon went back in Season 3 to visit Allura zor so maybe we get a cameo of Allura in this episode, I know Erica Durance is playing, you know, Lois Lane, a different version of Lois Lane like she did in Smallville, but also she plays Supergirl's mum, Allura zor on Supergirl, and she lives currently in the same place or, you know, the same part of Krypton as Clark and Lois do currently, and obviously they're going to return to Earth, so maybe we get a cameo of Allura, that would be really great, but it's great to see Argo City again because I love those episodes in Season 3 of Supergirl. Okay, so we got Sarah, it looks like she is attacking someone, can't really tell who though. Then we go back to that rubbly place and we've got our heroes once again all lined up ready for battle. Then we get a really, really nice shot of Brandon Routh's Kingdom Come version of Superman. And in this scene he actually says, Hope is the light that lifts us out of all life. So obviously doing the very Superman sort of inspirational talk. And he just looks really great. You know, I've talked about this before. He's in The Wave Rider. 
I really love how they done his hair. He's got, you know, the classic Superman flick at the front. And also he's got a bit of grey hair, so I really, really dig it and he looks so cool. Alright, probably one of my favourite shots back in the rubble. We've got the Flash, he shows up, he speeds in. We've got Supergirl and Superman landing. We've talked about that shot earlier, it just looks really cool, all three of them. Then we've got Batwoman, she's in the rubble outside. Then, moving on from that, we have Oliver, and it looks like Barry screams Oliver. Like, he's properly screaming, so it seems like this could be leading up to his death. You know, whenever he says that specific word, you know, that way of saying Oliver, you know, screaming out. I don't know if it's exactly over this scene, but Oliver's in trouble in this shot. From what you can see, there is an explosion. That's that rubbly place inside, but it doesn't seem like Oliver's going to die at that specific point. Then we have Superman, he's returned to Earth, he's flying. We have the return of the Wave Rider and the Legends of Tomorrow. Seems like they could be in Germany, kind of looks a bit like Berlin, I could be wrong about that. But then we've got Supergirl and Supergirl says the line, we might lose the planet, but we can still save the people. And this leads me to believe that Earth 38 probably is going to get destroyed or it's going to be merged because it seems like a lot of it's probably going to take place there, like at least the first part. And so it seems like it's, you know, kind of high on the checklist for the Anti-Monitor to get to. Okay, so then Oliver screams, it's not time. And he's shouting it either at, like, our heroes, it seems like, or it could be the Anti-Monitor, I don't know. But anyway, so it seems like Oliver has some insight as to what's going on. And, you know, he's using that insight in a different way because, you know, maybe it was supposed to go down a certain way that the monitor told him, but it's going down another way. Maybe, you know, some other people are dying or something like that. And so someone screams the battle is lost and we've got this last few shots, obviously repeated from the Flash, you know, with Central City being destroyed. We've got Killer Frost and the elongated man running through the city streets. Then the final shot of the trailer is of this guy, he's in this sort of fire and he's just a bystander and he's got this sign saying the end of the world is nigh. So, you know, he's a skeptic of sorts and it looks like he's gonna die. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it and are you hyped for the crossover? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm freaking excited. Let's do this. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys later, goodbye. I see red.